Hey guys, Samsung officially unveiled its new flagship mobile processor yesterday and I am not made any video about this topic because almost every tech channel made video about the same topic. So here we talk about specs comparison between Samsung Exynos 9810 versus Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. Samsung classified the S8's Exynos 8895 as a 9 series chip, even though its model number was 8895. The Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus will be the first handsets to be powered by this new processor. We also know that in markets like the United States, Samsung's new flagship smartphone will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, which has already been unveiled. Both chips are quite identical which is why I specs comparison become necessary. The Exynos 9810 and Snapdragon 845 are both built on Samsung's second generation 10 nanometer FinFit LPP process. They also feature octa-core CPU, gigabyte, gigabit LTE modems, dual ISPs, Bluetooth 5.0 and support for 4K screens. Aside from improved efficiency for AR and VR applications, the new chips also promise enhanced machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities. The comparison ta table below lists the similarities and difference between these two chips sets in detail. Samsung is yet to reveal the full CPU parameters of the Exynos 9810. Some information is still missing. So here are full table. The process of Searching for a longer day Exynos has People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home Savannah, we'll never be alone Savannah, the beauty of the world Savannah, let's all take a It's going to be better based on specifications alone The performance that you and I will experience on the Galaxy S9 depends on a variety of factors Samsung has a habit of optimizing the Exynos variants of Galaxy flagships better than the Snapdragon variants. So we hope that the Snapdragon powered versions of Galaxy S9 will be equal in terms of performance to their Exynos counterparts. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video then thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily tech videos. And you have some problem and some mistakes what I do in this video then don't forget to comment down below and see you soon.